There's almost nothing online for our next author, Colonel John Reed Scott, 1869 to 1942. He apparently came from a military family that served in the American Revolution and the U.S. Civil War, while Scott himself served in the Spanish-American War and World War I, then retired in 1929. Gutenberg.org shows seven books for him, and he mainly seems to have written suspense and adventure stories. The Cab of the Sleeping Horse, 1916, starts out with Guy Harleston, a kind of consultant to the U.S. Secretary of State, walking home late one night from his club and spotting a horse-drawn cab standing in front of an apartment building. The horse is sleeping and the driver is missing. Curious, Guy searches inside the cab and finds some damaged roses, a woman's glove, and an envelope containing a cipher and a photo of a well-known spy named Madeline Spencer. He's spotted in the cab and at his apartment, accosted by thugs demanding the cipher. Fortunately, he'd given everything to a neighbor first. He gets a jump on one of the thugs and takes a note from his pocket. A few hours later, a woman calls him, saying that the cipher is hers and she wants it back. Guy meets her the next day and she introduces herself as Mrs. Clefane. She'd been given the letter and photo by a French spy to deliver to the French ambassador in Washington, D.C. Guy instead hands everything he found to the State Department's chief of cryptography, Carpenter, who claims the cipher is completely unbreakable without the key. Let's prove him wrong. What we know. The cipher is probably visionaire and in French, but uses the English alphabetic table. The message contains W's, so it's not a 25-letter table. We have the thug's note with the expression, and I'm not going to get this right, a lob du jour. Then we have a few probable words, including France and maybe Madeline Spencer or photograph, to start with. We've got so many toeholds here that it's embarrassing. Following the instructions for decryption from episode 12, let's begin by decrypting the message with the expression from the note as the key and see what that gets us. Okay, that would have been too easy if it had worked. But I'm curious. Madeline's photo was with the cipher. So, can we use her name as a probable word? Let's run it across the top of the message and see if anything pops out. In this approach, we decipher each letter separately for the entire probable word. To keep this manageable, let's just do the first four letters of Madeline until we get to something promising. Place M-A-D-E above the cipher at the beginning of the line. Note, I'm flipping the slide this time so the cipher alphabet is on top and the plain text alphabet is on the bottom. Set the slide to M equal A. Look for D on the upper slide. Beneath that is R. Write R under D in the message. Go to A in MADE. Set the slide to A equal A. Look for P on the upper slide and write down P. Just keep repeating the process for D equal A. And E equal A. The resulting text looks like garbage. So move made one position to the right and try again. And keep trying again until we either get something promising or we hit the end of the cipher. She are? No. Them died? No. Pitbull? No. That bat? No. They vard? 
No. Could you do? No. I gave? No. Any game? No. Pyre fire? No. Song no problem? No. True friend? No. Guy weak? No. Panini man? No. Modem wire? No. Place area? No. Stop Jubilee? No. Plow lay? No. Labor? No. Toy switch? No. Tool ramp? No. Old gills? No. Alm Street? No. And through? No. New Prime? No. Hold here a second. I know we've been at this a long time, and it's easy to get distracted, tired, or jaded. But that D-U-J-O segment looks like it could come from du jour. Let's test out Madeline. Our line break seems to be a lucky break. This is clearly part of the expression we have on the note. Let's keep going with Spencer. That's a little weird. We should have A-L-A-U-B-E, not A-L-A-U-F-E. That, and we already tested this key, and we know it didn't pass. Let's try backfilling in the key that we have. Okay, looks like whoever wrote the message flipped the expression front for back. No big deal there, even though this little trick completely stumped Carpenter in the story. But we still have that issue of F instead of B. Decrypting the message with the current weird key, as described in episode 12, we get this. Checking closer, we can see that Madeline Spencer comes out okay. But the expression, I'm not going to get this right, averte quel la alamein, is misspelled with W instead of A. Going back and decrypting again with the corrected key, we get a new message out. And now we can see what our problem was. There's a typo in the cipher giving us Madeline Spencer for the plain text. It's all over but for the singing now. Add spaces and punctuation. Translate into English and we have Informed Germany has induced an officer to betray United States secret formula for colloding process of treating gun cotton for smokeless powder for high power guns. And that Madeleine Spencer, a German secret agent in Paris, photograph enclosed herein is delegated to receive same. Cannot ascertain name of traitor. Spencer sale Lusitania due New York 14th. Take any means to intercept formula, or at least to prevent Germany obtaining it. Spencer not essential to France. And we're done. 
Notice that both of our other probable words, France and photograph, are in the text. But we could have just as easily used the Kaczynski test and solved the message graphically one key letter group at a time. Or we could have tried solving it with just the du jour part of the key to see what that would have given us. However, I just wanted to demonstrate probable word sliding here because it animates well. If you want to read the cab of the sleeping horse yourself, I put the link in the description below. That's it for now. See you at the next bookshop. Got questions, comments, or suggestions? Leave them in the comments below. Enjoyed this video? Then I encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. If you want to show further support, you can join us over at the Black Chamber Patreon page, where you can get access to more how-to videos and PDFs on solving the cipher types covered here, additional crypts to solve, and more. Links pinned in the comments below. See you at the next drop point.